So as we all know, Giannis Antetokounmpo has been one of the more dominant players in recent NBA history. And one of the main conversations with his game and complaints is that, hey, he's never been able to shoot the three ball consistently. And really until this past year, he's never been able to shoot the mid-range semi-consistently. And if he is able to develop that, then he could probably be the most dominant player of all time up there with Shaq or maybe even on offensively with Kevin Durant and players like that, um, which is a fair argument to make. But as we've seen in these preseason games, and a lot of people have been talking about, Giannis has shown his killer instinct once again. And he came into the game against the Utah Jazz and lit it up from jump shot range and showed that he has improved his form and he's become a better shooter overall. Um, now we know during the final run last year, he was a decent shooter. Um, he had his struggles in games where he'd shoot too many threes or he would settle or uh, free throw struggles. And the real positive thing about this is if he's able to fix his form and um, come out as a better shooter, then that fixes his free throws. That fixes so many key pieces to his game. Um, for example, the wall that teams build against him on defense would be in basically ineffective at all towards him because if you're going to sag off of him now hey he's just going to shoot the three ball or shoot a mid-range shot and he's going to make it so i mean what do you do with that how do you stop him at all on defense you can't foul him now just to foul him and make him shoot free throws because hey he's going to make the free throws so um if he keeps this up like he has in the preseason um he's probably gonna in my opinion he has a very good chance to win another mvp this year um, simply because uh, if he if he's able to shoot like that, no team can stop him. No player is going to be able to stop him one on one. If they double team him, a guy's wide open in the corner or on in the paint somewhere. Guys open if you're double teaming. That's how it always is. And overall, Giannis is on par to have an amazing year this year. And with this jump shot, I could see them repeating, and I hope they repeat as a Bucks fan. Um, but I try to stay impartial on these videos, so I figured let's go ahead and hop into a video of highlights from the game that he had the other day against the Utah Jazz, where he ended up with 21 points, 6 rebounds, and 5 assists. And there's a couple of impressive plays in here that really showed off his new jump shooting skills. Um, obviously, he's got the playmaking, as you see there. Um, but we do see him here uh, coming down the court. He wants to take a shot. You know he wants it. Royce O'Neal, who is an amazing defender, he just pulls up over top of him. He's got the height advantage, and he knows, hey, I can shoot this shot now. Um, he does a nice little shooter's move here with the hesitation and crossover, and he's able to get right to the paint because Rudy knows he had been making a couple of shots all night long. And, um, I mean, what are you going to do? This one right here is really a beauty. Giannis with the nice pull away, fade away jumper. And um, he had to actually pull it around his head almost <laughs> to get it away from the defender. And he's able to hit that one over pretty decent defense. Um, this one, Eric Pascal plays probably 100% defense. Your coach could not be mad at you for that. And he hits the three, and he's confident. You can see with the little finger flare there, um, Giannis is confident in his shooting ability right now. This one, he does shoot. He just pulls up and takes it right there in front of Eric Pascal. Once again, a good defensive effort. Um if he's going to be hitting shots like that with the defender's hand in his face, um, there's just nothing you can do about that because Giannis is already almost as unstoppable as it gets. And if you're right there in his face and he's just going to shoot over you, I mean, there's not much you can do to defend that or even think about defending that. And as you can see here, um, he does he, he loses the handle on a shot on the, one of the next few possessions and he just, like this one, look, he misses the pass, gets it in the corner, he sees a tiny bit of space, just a sliver, and he pulls up, and he hits it, and he's confident in that shot. You could see the way he shot that. Let's go back and see that again. The way he pulls up and shoots this, you can tell that he's confident it's going to go in, and that is the key to make, becoming a better shooter is confidence, because Giannis has... Um, and he actually came out and said about the whole free throw thing. It's in his head. A lot of it has to do with him just not being in the right mind space when it comes to shooting free throws. Um, he was kind of getting in his own head, which is why he would end up taking so long. And that's with a lot of NBA players. Take Ben Simmons, for example. He can't shoot. 
because he won't shoot. In his mind, he shouldn't shoot and he cannot shoot at all, which is causing him to have this whole fiasco of um, the drama in Philadelphia. We've talked that out of the barn right now. Um, but yeah, Giannis looks like he has improved his jumper a lot in this preseason. He actually opened up the preseason game tonight with a with a three-pointer right at the beginning of the game. Um, so yeah, let me know what you guys think about Giannis in this preseason jump shooting form. Is it overreacting? Um, that's a big storyline in the preseason and summer league a lot. Hey, don't overreact to it. A lot of players look good in the preseason and then kind of fall off or don't do as good as they have looked. But I think it isn't overreacting because Giannis has consistently shown when he um, starts to be good at something he stays good at it and he's kind of able to revamp his game at will I mean he's done it multiple times in his career he was not supposed to be this good in the first place and he just keeps showing his worth ethic work ethic um, every day I mean so many NBA players would win a finals and just think okay that's it I don't need anything else I'm good I don't need to work out I don't need to practice and Giannis is back in the gym immediately afterwards. Um, it just goes to show you how much of a, um, a great player he is and how de devoted he is to this team and to the sport. And I think that if, if he's able to consistently hit these shots, the Bucks are primed for another big year um, in the playoffs, not just the regular season. And he could be a very heavy contender in the MVP race. Um, maybe even a little bias here, but the MVP winner. Uh, so let me know what you guys think about that in the comments down below. Make sure to hit the like button. As always, it helps me out. Hit the subscribe button as well. Um, links to my Instagram down below. And thank you to Z Highlights for this video compilation he uploaded. The link will be in the description below. So you guys can go check out the original video. Um, but thank you guys so much for watching this video. And adios.